The new Golden Era Musket unit is finally here with Season 9, so let's look at the Shinji Grenadiers. Disclaimers first, this information and footage was from the preview event for Season 9. Some things may have changed since then, so keep that in mind as we continue. With that out of the way, Shinji Grenadiers are a different animal of a musket unit. They are a 5 star golden era unit that costs 325 leadership in your warband. They are special in the fact that even as a musket unit, they can throw grenades on the battlefield. So are they worth their cost in leadership? Shinji Grenadiers have 5 different traits. Precise Aim. This trait increases the accuracy of their shots. Exquisite Armaments. Their armaments are a combination of ingenious craftsmanship and gunpowder. Improving the order, throw grenades. Borderlanders. Leadership cost of this unit is reduced by 10 during Season 9 Tyranny, making it 315 during Season 9. Fire Resistant. This unit's armor is less vulnerable to thermal weapons than other units of the same era. Damage Penalty vs. Heroes. Range damage dealt to heroes by this unit is reduced by 25%. There are two formations available to Shinji Grenadiers. Dispersed Formation. The unit makes a loose formation that reduces unit vulnerability to ranged weapons. Three ranks. The unit forms three ranks. Good for concentrating fire. There are two available unit orders. Attack Area. Order your unit to shoot ranged weapons at the designated spot. Throw Grenades. Throw grenades at the target area, dealing area of effect damage and knocking down enemy soldiers. Grenade ammunition is counted separately from musket ammunition. Shinji Grenadiers have two veterancy lines. Before either line is a 3% increase to piercing damage. The top line focuses on their musket fire. Notable boons are the increase to rate of fire, accuracy, ammo, piercing damage, and when a bullet hits the enemy, block break is reduced. The bottom line focuses on their grenades. Some notable boons are the increase to blunt damage, defenses, grenade damage, grenade range, and grenade cooldown. Which line to run partially comes down to how you play the grenadiers. With that being said, I see them as a musket unit first. The grenades are very powerful, but you only get two throws. Even with the 25% increase from the Doctrine 3, you're not getting another full volley. It is unlikely you will be able to constantly run back and refill on grenades, so more often you will be holding points and using musket fire. Getting into Doctrines, I plan to run the Epic Arquus Doctrines 1 through 3, the Epic Battle Line Doctrine, and the Shenji Doctrine 2 from the Challenges. The Shenji Doctrine 3 would also be a decent Doctrine if you want to focus on grenades. The Doctrine loadout seems pretty straightforward, though I want to look more at the Shenji Doctrine 2. I see this as a required Doctrine. We didn't have a chance to test it, but this appears to be what we see in the trailer that lets the musket unit stop cavalry charges. That will be a strong utility on the battlefield if it plays out how we see it in the trailer. With that, let's look at what tests I managed to run. We didn't run many since it is hard to do one-on-one -on -one tests with a musket unit, but what we did run didn't use any doctrines.
Shinji Grenadiers appear on face value to be very much glass cannons. They have very little health and drop fairly quickly if someone gets close to them. With that aside, their grenades pack some serious punches. They appear to have a similar feel to Tercios with their firing. As a warlord, you can sidestep their shots and avoid nearly all of them. If you do get hit though, it does hurt. We only tested the grenades against the gray hair shields, but you can see that the shields block nearly all the damage, and when they use last stand, it blocked all of it. Shenji Grenadiers look in essence to be Tercios that are less tanky, worse in melee, but can make a big couple of explosions before they have to restock. I hope this video gave you some insight into the Shenji Grenadiers. Big thank you to Night Stalker. He did all the unit testing with me during the event. Check out his channel when you get the chance. With that, until next time, I'll see you on the battlefield.